So thus far, we have only seen cases where that point P approaches that point P naught from all possible paths. But that's not always going to be the case. So here we're going to establish the two-path test for non-existence of limits. So we say that if a function f of x, y approaches two different values as that point p approaches p naught along two different paths in the domain of f, then the limit doesn't exist. So we say that then the limit as point p or x, y approaches p naught or x naught, y naught of our function f of x, y, this does not exist. Now, I want you to be careful here. You should always exhaust all simplification methods for evaluating a limit before assuming that your limit does not exist. But in the case where that function is approaching different values as p approaches p naught along different paths in the domain of f, in that case, the limit does not exist. So when we've exhausted all other options and we want to apply the two-path test, we're going to follow the following strategy. So the first thing that we're going to do is find the domain of the function. So we want to find the domain of f. After you find the domain, we then want to go ahead and evaluate the limit as x approaches x naught. So here we go. We are going to evaluate the limit as x approaches x naught. So we're going to hold that y variable fixed. So we have the limit of our function f of x, y. And again, this is still for now as the point x, y approaches that point x naught, y naught. But keep in mind that we are evaluating as x approaches x naught. So what is this going to leave us with? Well, we're going to be left with the limit of the function f of x naught, y, and the limit is as y approaches y naught now. So when you evaluate the limit as x approaches x naught, we plug that x naught in. And then you're left here with the function of a single variable, y. So once we have done that, we want to do the same thing now for y. So step three is to evaluate the limit as y approaches y naught. So here we go. Again, starting with our original limit, we have the limit of the function f of x, y. And this is as the point x, y approaches the point x naught, y naught. But again, keep in mind that we are evaluating this limit as y approaches y naught. So we are holding x fixed here. So what does this leave us with? It leaves us with the limit of the function f of x y naught as x approaches x naught. So again, we are left here after evaluating the limit as y approaches y naught with a limit of a function of a single variable. And if these two limits are not equal, we have confirmed the limit does not exist.